Hey everybody and welcome to Uncut. My name is Billy or BK23 on Instagram and today we're going to focus on some product reviews. Now I've been looking at products on the internet and as you search through the internet you certainly uh, find a couple of accessories for cigar smokers primarily being cigar cases, lighters, and cutters. Those have been done. There's a thousand of them out there. If someone was to ask me what is the best $250 lighter, I think the general consensus is that the ST DuPont Extreme you get the best bang for your buck. Um, the design and functionality are there. It should last you for a couple of years. It's got a great flame. If you don't want to spend that kind of money on a lighter, I will say that the Calibri Daytona is a good option and about a quarter of the price of the ST DuPont. A lot of people like to get multiple colors of lighters and unless you want to spend $1,000 on four lighters, the Daytona may be a good option for you. When it comes to cutters, however, I will say personal opinion that the desktop version of the Calibri Quasar Square or the Guillotine V-Cut double-sided Calibri Cutter are two of my favorite. That said, today I want to focus on some really cool products from a company called Sun and Sun England. When you think about cigar accessories, you don't necessarily think about, in this case, gold-plated cigar accessories. Um, so I want to find some things that you might not carry daily, but if you're contemplating on making a nice purchase that'll sit in your cigar smoking area, the Sun & Sun England products could be a great option for you. The three products that we're going to look at today are a uh, 24 karat gold plated cigar rest, their gold bullion ashtray, and what I think is pretty unique, we'll save that for last, uh, their cigar tube. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is a product that you'll see pretty often, as a matter of fact, a lot of manufacturers that are creating cases now are actually creating cases that have a cigar rest um, place specifically inside of the case. Peter James, for example, has it at the top. I know there's a couple others out there. So let's focus on this one first. So the first product, the Sun & Sun England Cigar Rest. Visually, I think they really did an exceptional job. Uh, much like their other products, again, the weight on these is very substantial. As I was just saying, uh, Peter James and some other companies have made cigar cases that actually allow you to put your cigar rest inside of the case and travel with it. This will probably be the exception to the rule in that it weighs too much for you to transport. I think a lot of the cigar products from Sun & Sun England really are meant to be more stationary. Um, as I had mentioned, if you have a cigar area where you smoke your cigars and your standard setup is outside or uh, in, in your house, having these products at a table and not taking them you know, on vacation with you, I think was the thought process behind these. One of the things that they did really well though was as they were milling the product, you can see that they tried to alleviate some of that weight by milling holes and it also creates a little bit of a texture which is nice when it comes to grip. Um, but most larger format cigars will fit just fine on the milled cigar rest section. The quality of the gold plating is definitely exceptional. They've got their Sun & Sun England logo engraved in there and on the bottom. Um, from a durability, uh, point of view, I do think that you know you're going to get some scratches on this if it's on a, a concrete you know table or uh, anything other really than glass. You're going to get some pretty quick surface scratches. I've used mine a couple of times and I can already see them forming. But overall, it, it certainly is functional. It, it is aesthetically pleasing, as I've mentioned. It serves its purpose and it looks great with uh, all of the other products that they offer or on its own. Again, I do like that they provided something to wipe off the fingerprints. Um, you know how OCD I am, so I would probably have to carry this and use it every time I used one of their products. But, well done. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Sun & Sun Bullion... Boy, this thing is heavy. Uh, bullion ashtray. Now, if you're not a fan of fingerprints, I'm a bit OCD, this might drive you a little bit nuts. Um, if you have small kids or a glass top table, you may want to stay away from something like this. This thing must weigh four or five pounds by itself. However, 
if it's something that's going to sit outside again on your cigar station or wherever you smoke cigars, it's going to be your primary ashtray for a single cigar, there's definitely something special about this. Um, let's take a closer look. So the gold bullion ashtray is kind of a cool concept. Again, I like the fact that Sun and Sun is trying to create something unique in a market where it's saturated with a lot of the same stuff in different colors. Uh, the bullion ashtray actually has a lot of the gold marking that you would find on a standard gold bar to an extent. Um, as I mentioned before, the biggest concern becomes not only the fingerprints, but the surface scratches. If you're looking for a product that is going to look like it's brand new, you know, for six or eight months of use, probably not it. If you've got this face down like the other product on a table and it's being moved around or passed from person to person, it will definitely scratch. What I think they did really well though was, again, create something unique that has great form and function. Um, the texture aspect of the holes that they milled, I assume to alleviate some weight, makes sense. It definitely will be grippy for lack of a better term when you set your cigar down. Uh, the aesthetics, which really is the, the purpose of these, I think, um, is there. You know, people see it like this and they go, oh, what the heck is that? They pick it up and they go, oh, that's cool. It's an ashtray. It really has the weight of what you would imagine a gold bar of this size has on it as well. Um, when you set it down, if you like to keep your ash on your cigar, you probably won't like this. They angled the rest so that the cigar actually sits in the ashtray as opposed to horizontal. Um, you see a lot of guys that like to let their ash get out an inch or so. I think as soon as the weight of that cigar touches, it is going to break the ash off. So I wouldn't suggest if you like to let your ash grow beyond you know, half an inch um, that you look into something like this because that's not going to happen. Um, it does fit the Vitola. It's a little bit awkward, honestly, though. Um, I feel like you know, if there's a couple of ashes in there and you, you go to set this down, it's going to continue to slide into the ash. I like to keep my cigar away from the ash. What you can do instead, though, is rotate your ash onto the decline plane here. The texture will help to break off the ash. And again, you want to gently roll the ash so that it falls off and doesn't affect your burn. And then just use their cigar stand. Um, if you've come to a mental agreement that you're willing to spend the money to do so. But they do look great together. So again, great function, good form, great quality. Uh, you're hearing me talk about the weight a lot, but I just can't get over how heavy these products are. But good looking piece, well done. So last, but certainly not least, is the Sun & Sun England Cigar 2. Now, I will say, not much you can do to avoid the shape of this. It's a bit phallical. Uh, if you're a female cigar smoker, not to be rude, but if you pull this out of your bag, there certainly may be some guys that take a look uh, out of curiosity what it is that you're setting on the table. All jokes aside, though, um, the, the quality, the 24 karat gold plating, the craftsmanship that went into making this tube... Um, is really exceptional. The threading allows for a fairly easy connection uh, when it comes to connecting these pieces. But really the genius of this product is the fact that it allows you to, one, fit a fairly large format cigar. But if you're carrying something of smaller Vitola, it also allows you to then remove one of the cylinders and accommodate a smaller size as well. Now again, I appreciate ingenuity. I think that anytime somebody creates something that addresses an issue in a market, um, you've got to pat them on their back and say, great job. Sun and Sun did just that. It's a beautiful piece. It's intelligently designed. Um, the seal has a rubber gasket there, so it should be airtight. My only complaint with this is if you have anything uh, in a Vitola that has a different ring gauge uh, or size that might be something in between the two of these, it will leave quite a bit of room for the cigar to move around in the tube. Um, 
if you were to take a piece of uh, foam and put it in there, that might help to alleviate cracking the foot of the cigar. Uh, or if for any reason your cigar is just slightly dry, um, having that wiggle room inside may cause the wrapper to crack. Easy to adjust it. Again, just take a little piece of you know foam or bubble wrap or anything and put it down there at the bottom. But that said, if you tend to smoke a specific cigar that's in that six inch range, really a great piece. Well done. Uh, again, Sun and Sun England. I must say uh, thank you for sending over this beautiful cigar tube. Uh, also, the cigar rest and the bullion ashtray. I appreciate you guys. Um, I think that people that are interested in the aesthetics are really going to enjoy these products. People that are looking for functionality in regards to you know, traveling with these things, this may work. I think that these are best, as I've said, sat at home in your smoking room, um, stationary on a table. This, however, throw it in your travel bag. It's not terribly heavy. It's, it's substantial, um, but I think that traveling with this wouldn't be an issue. As I said, be sure though to bring the cloth that they provide because you're going to get fingerprints all over this thing for sure. So. so I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Three Sun and Sun England products. Again, the goal for me is to find some creative, unique items in the cigar world that kind of fit that luxury lifestyle but also are functional. Um, my promise to you is that I will never put anything on my Instagram page or on my YouTube page that isn't functional, great quality, and something that I actually use in my daily life. A lot of people talk about paid promotions and whatnot. I don't really spend any time focused on that. My commitment again though is that if it's on my page, it's absolutely something that I suggest is worthwhile to at least take a look at. In this instance, the price of these products may alienate quite a few people in that the cigar tube, uh, I think is like 400 pounds um, weight <laughs> and uh, overall cost, it's heavy. Um, but if you're looking for a unique product that's got a great visual aesthetic, that's extremely functional, all of these products certainly would suit your needs. So leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what you think. If there's other products out there that you'd like to see reviews of, please let me know. Don't forget, if you ever want to reach me, you can reach me uh, in the comments section or shoot me a direct message on Instagram at BK23. I'll be sure to answer all of my direct messages. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day.